PeepsTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peeps Tools, how are we all going today? Now the beautiful day on my side of the world, well it's not really as persisting down out there, so I thought I'd come in the shed and do a video for you fellas. So as you might know guys, I've been mucking around with my new plasma cutter machine that I brought the other day. It goes really, really well, I'm quite impressed really for what I paid for it. The only thing is, I'd like to change the bloody, the earth lead, because I think it's a little bit sort of flimsy and horrible. And also I might have a go at upgrading the torch. I mean it's a good little torch. But my hands are like a bloody cash box, you know, and I find these little torches are just a little bit too hard for me to control. I like a bigger torch, something that I can just grab hold of, you know, and you know me, I'm as rough as guts, and I sometimes I use the end of my torch as a hammer as well. Same as usual, fellas, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want, and uh, we'll do a couple of little modifications on this plasma cutter to get it going even better than what it does already. yeah So like I say, guys, this earth lead's a bit sort of flimsy and it's, it hasn't got very much spring in it and when you go and clamp it on your work you want it to really really grab because what I've learned over the years is the closer you can get your earth clamp to what you're cutting the more power you seem to have and if you haven't got enough tension on your earth lead then you're fighting an uphill battle right from the start especially if you want to cut some thick stuff stuff that it's not really designed to cut like I do all the time <laughs> you know how it is listen to this and now listen to this see what I mean it's got no guts to it whereas I want something that's really gonna grab onto the steel so that's what we're gonna do guys and also guys if you notice the lead it's a bit thin and it's you know it's I've already burned a hole in it god you're a clumsy so and so Pete look at that guys I've already burned a bloody hole in it so I found an old bit of cable lying around the workshop this is rated at about 500 amps 550 amps so we'll make up a new earth lead and then I'll go and change the gun and then we'll see how we cut. Yeah! So guys, I've got the new old bit of wire and I've got a 1025 DINS plug here. So what we're going to do is just assemble this lead. Make sure when you do this guys that you put your rubber socket on first because I've done it that I've put the bloody the end on first and then I can't get the bloody rubber socket on. <laughs> so don't do that. So put your rubber socket end on first. And if you're looking to buy these DIN plugs and that sort of thing, I'll put a link in Amazon below for you fellas if you if you want to buy a um, if you want to buy a new clamp like this or you want to buy some DIN plugs or some other bits and pieces. It's just handy to have a few leads around the place, that's what I find anyway. And then just these are really easy to assemble guys, and then just do up the Allen screw in it like so. Give it the gun boot. Yeah. And what I find with these guys. Just make sure when you try and pull it back into the socket, you'll see here, if you look, there's two grooves. Make sure the two grooves slide into the two grooves into the rubber grommet. Otherwise, you'll be forever trying to pull it back and you end up pulling your wire out. So, you see what I mean, guys? The grooves go into the grooves. Let me show you. See what I mean? Groove, 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 groove. And once you've got it in like that, just pull it in with the wire. Like so. Give it a yank. Whoa, see that guys? Yoldy yoldy. Once you got it started in like that guys, just give it a push onto a table or something solid. Just to pull it down, make sure it's all the way down. And there you go guys, one 1025 DINS plug socket. That was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> now what we need to do is just grab the other end, like so. And all I've done here is I've got quite a bit of bare wire on here, see that guys? And because I haven't got a lug, that's supposed to go on here. I'll just use a couple of washers to do it. So we should undo that like so. <laughs> Cold here today, guys. It's really, really bloody freezing. Grab a couple of washers. What I normally do is put the thicker washer on the bottom so we've got something to really, really push down on. But that's just what I do. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. Put the other one on top. So you got it like so. And then like I say, because I haven't got a lug guys, I just get my big lump of wire like so, pull the washers apart, and feed the wire around the washers. I mean it doesn't look perfect, but it'll give you a really, really good earth. Pull it as tight as you can guys, without it actually pulling off the washers. See how I've got that like that? Now all I've got to do now is tighten it up, and squash it in there. 
That's why I use washers, otherwise the wire will try and spew out the side of the nut and you won't get a good earth. And the whole object of this exercise is to get a really, really good earth. So I just give this a gumboot as well. I just really tighten it down until it won't go anymore. And you know what I did? <laughs> Too busy talking to you guys and I didn't thread it through here. Oh, well, let's do that again. That'll learn you, Pete. That'll learn you. <laughs> Holy moly, don't you just love doing things twice, guys? See how that's all squashed in there, guys? Nice and flat. So what I'm going to do now is unsquash it, feed it through here, and then do the whole bloody lot again, guys. Because if you don't have it through here, then you've got a wire dangling out the side and it's the right pain in the bum. So let's do that again, Pete. Oh my gilly aunt, hey? Right, take two guys. <laughs> take two where? Yeah. That just shows you how easy it is to make these leads up, guys. There's nothing to it at all. All you need is a, a good clamp and a dins plug. Piece of weasels. Yeah. And I don't know why they don't give you decent earth leads on these machines. So that's trying to do it as cheap as possible, I suppose. Because people demand to have cheap machines that actually work. So, you know. There we go, guys. What do you reckon? And I remember to feed it through the clamp this time. <laughs> but hear the snap on this, guys. Yo. Snap. Snap. So here's our nice new earth lead, guys. Certainly, guys, it'll be better than this crappy thing. Really, really light. Notice the difference. See how light that is compared to that. So we'll plug them into our machine. Yeah. Nice and tight like so. We've got a decent cable coming out of it now. Yes, sir, -y Bob. Ooh, beautiful. Righty, what we're going to do now, guys, is I'm going to change the torch for a bigger torch. Because, like I say, my hands are like bloody Sasquatch, and this torch is just really, really little. I like something I can really get hold of and be a little bit rough with. So, anyway, let's go and change the torch. So, this machine's originally running a AG60P torch. Don't even see that here, guys. AG60P. So the 60p means that it's rated up to 60 amps and the p is for pilot arc. But what I want to do guys is change it to a P80 tor torch, which is my favourite torch at the moment. I'm a bit anal when it comes to plasma torches. <laughs> I like what I like, but there's nothing wrong with this torch by any stretch of the imagination. It's just that you get used to a certain thing, you know. And it's just a good upgrade to have. I find that it's a little bit more easier to handle a bigger torch. See this one guys, it's a P80 torch so it's up to 80 amps it's actually 100 amp you can run through this torch and once again it's just a pilot arc so these are really simple to change guys just exactly the same plugs on both torches so we just undo the switch which is this one you undo the main lead the air lead plus the main wire that runs up the air lead is this one and then we undo the pilot arc one here which is just a single wire like that sometimes it's red sometimes it's green So we'll put the old torch to one side, guys. <laughs> Here's our new torch, my P80 torch. These come in all sorts of different colours. Like you might get a blue one, yellow one or whatever, but the colour doesn't really make any bloody difference. It's just, like I say, it's just the style of torch that I like. And you guys might want to upgrade your plasma cutters as well, so it just gives you an idea of what you can upgrade it to. Once again, it's exactly the same. This one's got a green wire for the pilot arc. Make sure that pilot up wire is tight, guys, because you don't want it vibrating and sort of like sparking. And then this is just your off-on switch. And then we just got our main lead, guys, like on the other one. Just screw them on there. <laughs> like I say, guys, I'll leave some links down below if you want to get some of this upgraded stuff for your own machines. Here we go. Kick it in the guts, Pete, see what it does. All right, guys, kick it in the guts. Yeah! <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Right, guys, let's see if we can cut about a quarter inch plate with it, eh? <laughs> now, remember what I said, try and get your earth as close as possible to where you're cutting. So, I'll run it up here and we'll put it on the back here. 
like so. Alrighty, Odie, Coyote, will it work? Will it work? Won't it work? So there we go guys, cut it, no worries whatsoever. Yeah! So guys, that was my little upgrade for what it was worth. Not that there was anything wrong with it the way it was, but I just like it the way I like it. I like to get as much power as I possibly can out of these little machines. So, you know, new earth makes all the big difference. And a bigger plasma torch, it's just easier to handle and you might get a bit more life out of your consumables. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want. And we'll see you next time, eh? Oh, before I forget, if you want to see the review on this machine, check up here. And if you want to see the first time I learned to use flux core wire for welding, check up here. Anyway, guys, see ya. Bye. PeachTools.com.